Today, I would like to propose to you a way of living that if you truly live this way, not only will it improve your life almost instantly, but it will improve the lives of everyone you come into contact with. It's not the magic pill, but it will bring a feeling of magic into your life if you live by it. It's not a winning lottery ticket, but if you live by these principles, you won't need a winning lottery ticket or any amount of money because how you feel will be the reward and no amount of money can buy a beautiful existence. No amount of money can buy a feeling of contentment. No amount of money can buy peace or joy. What is this way of living? It's called non-jar. N-O-N-J-A-R. Living in a state of complete non-judgment, non-attachment, and non-resistance to whatever shows up in your life. Let's dive deeper into these principles. If you give me your attention for the next few minutes, I promise it will be a game changer for you. Non-judgment. How often do we, human beings, judge every situation and circumstance that comes into our lives as good or bad? How often have we all judged situations and circumstances we perceived as bad at the time, but really they led to something that ultimately changed our lives for the better? Maybe it was a breakup that was devastating at the time, but when looking back seems like the biggest blessing. Maybe it was a job loss or a difficult time financially that we labeled and judged as bad at the time. But if it did not happen, we would not be in the great position we are in now or doing what we now love. Think of an example in your life where you have judged a situation or circumstance negatively, but it turned out to be a blessing in some way. Think of a time when you've judged a person in some way and looking back, you were wrong to do so. The truth is, we do not know anything we can judge and label situations all we like, but we do not know anything. We can't possibly know the greater lesson or future blessing any situation has for our life in the moment it happens. When we step back, especially in difficult situations, and observe rather than judge, we can respond better with more love for others, with more love for the situation, and most importantly, with more love for ourselves. When we respond in presence, rather than in judgment, we can respond better, and the flow-on effect will mean a better life, a life with more ease and joy. Non-attachment. It has been said that attachment is the source of all suffering. Every human being is guilty of this at some point, but perhaps more so the ambitious ones or the achievers among us. It's those situations in which we are so attached to the outcome that we identify with it. And if the outcome doesn't work out as planned, we get upset, depressed, or maybe feel a loss of our sense of self. You might have experienced this feeling when being attached to a person in a relationship or being attached to a certain financial position, being attached to how you are perceived by others, being attached to a result you've been working towards. Non-attachment doesn't mean we don't own things. It means we don't allow things to own us. We don't allow thoughts and emotions and ideals to own us. Non-attachment is being able to live and thrive in this world without being attached to any person, any thought, feeling, emotion, or any outcome in any way. 
not being attached to anything, being any certain way. That means being non-attached to any emotion that shows up as well. So many of us beat ourselves up for getting angry, upset, sad, down, or simply not at our best. As if the first emotion wasn't bad enough, we punish ourselves for feeling it. Living in non-attachment, we allow the emotion to take place. Be witness to it and watch it dissolve. We witness the emotion, not judge it. Just like non-judgment, living in non-attachment means living with complete freedom and detachment to what happens. Whatever circumstances arrive, you accept them as if you had chosen them. Accepting them does not mean you give up seeking the things you want. It means whatever happens, you accept, while you continue to work toward the things you really want with presence and clarity. When you live in non-attachment, many of those things you thought you wanted fade away because you realize their insignificance and that only leaves what is really important. Being attached to anything being a certain way drains you of your power. A Zen proverb that beautifully sums this up says, Consider the trees which allow the birds to perch and fly away without either inviting them to stay or desiring them never to depart. If your heart can be like this, you will be near to the way. Non-resistance. Eckhart Tolle says non-resistance doesn't mean doing nothing. All it means is that doing becomes non-reactive. He says, remember the deep wisdom underlying the practice of Eastern martial arts. Don't resist the opponent's force. Yield to overcome. Much like non-judgment and non-attachment, living in a state of non-resistance means you do not resist what happens. You no longer fight what is. What could be more draining of life energy than fighting what is? There is nothing. It is why what you resist persists. Fighting against creates more energy for the thing you are fighting against. Letting go, accepting, and importantly, stepping back and being aware of what is actually happening gives you power. Reacting not in anger or resistance with focus and presence gives you power to change any situation. When we truly live by these principles, our life and our world around us instantly becomes clearer with a greater sense of peace and understanding. Everything becomes lighter and our reactions become clearer. It affects not only our life and our immediate surroundings, but the entire planet. Because what could be more powerful than one person living in a beautiful state? That person's effect on others and the consequent compound effect those people will have on more people, it is profound. What a world we can live in if we dedicate our lives in this way. I pray you all give it a try, in full presence, with pure intentions. Many blessings.